Hey there, good looking. Join me for this lower body toning workout. So what the heck does that mean? Well, that means that we are going to use high reps in this workout, so you'll need to grab some light dumbbells. We also have very limited rest in this workout, so your thighs and your glutes are going to burn but in a good way. For this workout, I recommend a pair of light dumbbells. For reference, I'm using a pair of eight. Beginners, you probably won't need any dumbbells. You'll also need a chair or a bench to sit on for one of the moves. Hey, how's that? You're gonna sit in this workout, huh? It's already a winner, isn't it? <laughs> and then you'll also need a booty band, preferably a latex one that's gonna give you some more give. All right, let's go get warmed up. Hey there, welcome to the workout. All right, let's get the lower body, the muscles, the joints, the connective tissue all ready for the work about to be done. Let's start with a 90-90 drill, working into the hip joint. On your bum for me. Take one leg, line up the shin to the front of the mat, other leg lined up to the side of the mat. Rotate your body to this side, bring your hands behind you, windshield wiper the knees to the other side, and then you're gonna rotate your body to that front knee now. As you go, see if you can lift the hands up and again, rotating that body as that leg comes down, hitting into that hip joint. Oh, this one is one of those hurts so good kind of moves. <laughs> Here we go, let's do four more. Here's four and three, two, one, moving into the glutes on your back, feet hip width apart. You can feel the heels with your fingertips, driving the hips up, squeezing through the glutes, lowering the hips down. When we drive up, I really want you to place a focus on the glutes. So squeezing the tush, even if you have to place your hands on your bum muscles, just to make sure you are recruiting them. Unfortunately, sometimes the glutes can be super lazy and other muscles get recruited. So I want you to make sure that you can feel those glutes of yours firing up. Let's do four more here. Here's four. And three. Two, one more, and then we stand. All right, come on up. Let's get into the knee joints now with a squat pattern. Feet shoulder width apart or maybe a bit wider if you've got tight hips, toes slightly turned out. We're pushing the bum rearward. Knees are tracking with the toes. If you have no shoes on, take a look. They should be tracking with the second toe. Excellent, we've got that neutral spine when we squat. So one thing that we see a lot in the fitness industry is this tilting under. Okay, I don't want you to do that. Your low back will not like you for that. So think about seeking out a chair back there and you're trying to sit on it. Good. So here's how today's workout's gonna roll. We have three different moves, 30 seconds of work, two rounds, no rest. <laughs> However, we then get a break before we move into the next circuit, a total of four circuits. We have a variety of high and low impact. I'm gonna layer on as we go. So what that means for you is no matter where you are in your fitness journey, beginner to advanced, you'll find the right intensity for you. Let's do two more, one more. Into the hamstrings now, give me a kick. Step it back, other leg kick. Good, how do you like my new runners? I know, right, super bright. If you've been with me for a while, you know I have a slight addiction to runners. <laughs> Just a slight. Nothing that requires therapy quite yet, but we're close to it. <laughs> Here we go, let's go for four. And three, two, and one, all right, you got 15 seconds, my friend. Grab your dumbbells if you're intermediate or advanced. We're gonna start with a squat, then move into a squat pulse, and then a squat heel lift, or a squat jump if that's what you like to do. Now let's get set up for our squat. No dumbbells for beginners. Take it wide, drop it down, drive up. So just what we learned in warm up, except if you're intermediate advanced, we've got weight. Again, you're gonna wanna go lighter on the weight because we're working more endurance of the lower body, not muscle strength. Once the 30 seconds are done, we immediately roll into the next exercise, which in this case is gonna be staying in this bottom part of the squat and pulsing. 
Let's take it down here and pulse. You can get rid of your weights if you want. Round two, I might. Woo. Stay low, don't lose that spine either. Pinch those shoulder blades. Nice job, you, come on. We move into squat jumps, or if jumps aren't your jam, you'll do a squat heel lift. 10 more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Bring the arms down. Squat heel lift or squat jump. And yes, you can definitely get rid of the dumbbells. Woo. We have 30 seconds. So our last move, we go back to the top to our regular squat in less than 15 seconds. Embrace the thigh burn. <laughs> Three, two, one, feet wide, go back to that squat. Tell your muscles, we just gotta do this one more round, then we get a beautiful 45 second rest. It'll feel like a mini vacation, you'll love it. So just hang in there. Straighten the legs completely as you come up out of this squat, pushing through those heels. Five more seconds to the pulses. Three, two, take it down, pulse it out. Drop the dumbbells if you have to. But if you can, try and keep them. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here is the lactic acid. That burning sensation, that's what it's called. But it'll go away in 12 seconds. Deep breath, come on, breathe with me. We go into the heel lift or jump in three, two, one, dumbbells down, squat, heel lift or jump. Land soft if you're doing the jump with me. We'll give the thighs a bit of a break for the next circuit. So just hang in there, less than 10 seconds. Come on you. Three, two, one, Woo. All right, grab a quick sip of water. Now on this series, we need our booty band and our chair or a bench. You just need to be able to have something to sit on. So let's get set up. All righty. Booty band's gonna go just above the knees. We start with a standing fire hydrant, other leg fire hydrant, and then we'll sit our bums down for hip abduction. All right, I'd love for you to mirror me. So, softness in this knee, bend this leg, bring it back a bit, abduct away. Now, if you've been in my workouts before, you know I love this move. It's working our gluteus medius, as a true hip stabilizer, which is designed to do. So we're having to really stabilize here as this leg goes away from the body. It's one of my favorite moves for the hips, and this will help you with hip pain, low back pain, and knee pain. One more, other leg, let's go. Again, feel free to hold on to something, but just use it as a light support. I want you to find your balance, challenge it there. And your leg is kind of going a little bit away on a 45, so not directly out to the side of your body. Now we're gonna sit our bums down in less than 10 seconds with our feet close together and just opening and closing the knees. Let's have a seat. All right, edge of your seat and then open, open. Don't let the knees come all the way together because then your band is gonna have a little too much or not enough tension and it may roll up on you, which is super annoying with latex bands. Now I want you to give me a slight lean forward. Good. Open those up, come on. Let's go a little faster. You wanna feel those outer hips engaged. Back to fire hydrant, three, two, one, stand. Mirror me, let's go. That's how this one rolls. So we're giving the knee joint a bit of a break, and this is how I've designed this whole workout. 
when we get a little older, we just can't <laughs> keep squatting, 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 lunging, lunging, lunging. The knee joint just doesn't like that. So we need to spice it up, give an appropriate amount of rest for the joint and hit all the other muscles involved with the lower body. Other side, does that mean you shouldn't squat or lunge if you have bad knees? <laughs> Absolutely not. What that means is we need to get you so that you can squat and lunge because the less you do it, the more damage you're doing to your knee joint. Your joint is a hinge, the knee joint is a hinge joint and it is meant to bend. <sighs> Seated abductions coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Sit on the edge of your seat, feet hip width, open and close. Lean forward slightly, lift the chest up. Nice, we get a little break after this for water. We're gonna keep the band on though, heads up. We're moving into the glutes with the band on. Time, Whew. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're taking ourselves onto the mat for the next move. We have some glute bridges, and we're gonna move into those glute bridges, all right? 30 more seconds. So where's our setup for that glute bridge? Do you remember? Yeah, so just like in warm up, feet hip width apart, you should be able to feel your heels with your fingertips. Now when we lift, we're using the glutes, not flaring the rib cage. And again, making sure that you're activating the glute muscles to do this. So let's get set up. We're gonna be doing this in about five seconds. Pushing through the heels, lightness in the toes. Three, two, one, and lift. So your feet are apart enough so you feel some tension and resistance on the band. Once again, we have three exercises, no rest. We're on the mat for the entire time. This circuit focus is on the glutes now. When we hear the timer go, we're gonna keep the same bridge, but then when the hips are up high, we'll open the knees wide and then close them and then lower the bum. So let's go open, back to center, lower. So lift the bum, open the knees, coming on the outside edge of your shoe. Now, when the timer goes after this, we'll keep the glutes elevated as high as you can and just pulse the knees out and in. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling my tush. All right, keep the hips up high. Now, little pulses out, out. Now, when they come in, the knees aren't touching when they come in. They're just coming back to hip width. So we've got, again, that constant tension on the band. Breathe. Make sure you've got those glutes recruited. You shouldn't be feeling it in your hamstrings. So make adjustments, heels closer to the bum if you need to. Palpitate the glutes to make sure those guys are the one working. Regular bridges right here, lower and lift. Push through those heels. <laughs> you always know when I'm struggling when I'm not talking. <laughs> Here we go, lift the bum, open the knees as wide as you can, back to hip width and lower the tush. <laughs> I'm just focusing on trying to get this done. When the timer goes, we keep the bum lifted high and little pulses. Right here, lift, little pulses. So you're not bringing the knees out quite as wide as we just did. Now it's just little, but going back to hip width. Woo, tell the tush, less than 30 seconds, it gets a break. We're moving on to our final circuit after this. Come on, crew, breathe. Woo! 
all right. I think we should do a knees to chest just before we stand. <laughs> the glutes deserve a little stretch there. All right, let's get rid of your booty pad. You're not going to need that. Once again, grab a quick sip if you need it. We're moving into our final circuit. It's a lunge series. So sometimes lunges freak people out. They don't like them. So you'll take it into a split squad, however deep that works for you. So it might be a micro band, or you might be able to go down as deep as I am. We have a split squat each leg, and then we move to a lunge jump, or if the jumping doesn't work for you, alternating reverse lunge. Grab your dumbbells, intermediate advanced. Feet hip width apart, mirror me, step back with this leg for our split squat. Again, same leg. You're gonna hinge forward slightly from the hip when that knee comes down to the ground. Once again, your lunge may be this, okay? So work with what feels comfortable for the knees, making sure that you are challenging yourself. If you wanna make it a little harder, drive the knee up, find that balance. We have five more seconds, we'll do the other leg. One more. All right, other leg. So, knee up, step back. Hip hinge slightly forward towards that front thigh. Bending the knees as comfortable as it feels for you. Now, I'm going to try to do the lunge jumps with the dumbbells. So if you're crazy like me, join me. If not, for the lunge jumps or reverse lunges, maybe get rid of the weights. All right, reverse step back lunge or jump lunge. Oh boy. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Split squat, three, two, one. All right, from the top. So what's the difference between a lunge and a split squat? You're gonna hear them called both. Technically, a split squat is this move where we're not traveling with the lunge. But you'll hear this called lunges. You'll also hear it called split squats. One more. Other leg. It's our last round. <laughs> I saved the best for last. <laughs> last 10 seconds, we'll move into lunge jumps, or if that's not your jam, you'll just alternate your reverse lunge. And go. Oh gosh, <laughs> getting rid of them. <sighs> 15 seconds, come on crew. <sighs> Time, Woo. march it out, bravo you. We got a couple of minutes we're gonna spend stretching and then you are good for the rest of your day or maybe you're adding another workout. If you're watching this in real time on YouTube or Over 50 Fitness, whew, I'm releasing a four part toning series. This is workout number two of it through the month. All right, let us Use that chair, or hold on to, heel up, stretch the quad. Ah, <laughs> softness in the knee. Now before you take off on me, I just wanna give you a, a brief description about the word toning with most of us in the fitness industry. We actually hate that word <laughs> because you can't just tone a muscle, right? It can either stay the same, which is really hard to do, just stay the same. It can shrink or atrophy, or it can grow. We can't just tone, meaning just a little bit of muscle. 
However, <laughs> people love to read the word tone. So I use the word personally to get you onto my channel to help educate you. Ideally, what it does mean in the fitness industry is higher reps. So we have three different muscle fibers within, let's do the other side, within each muscle. This is going to hit more of your endurance muscles. The muscles that need to work with oxygen. It's not a type of training that I recommend only doing because we do need the traditional strength, especially if you are over the age of 50 for bone density. And then as we age, we lose functional strength and that's attained by then doing strength workouts. So that is lower reps, heavier weight. All right, let's do a quick hamstring stretch here and then you are good to go. Heel up, knee soft, hip hinge. Hand is gonna land on the top of your thigh. We never wanna push down on a joint when we're stretching. But this, these are fun little workouts. And for my Over 50 Fitness Group and Patreon community, I will add some nice endurance work for your muscles once a week in your workout calendar. Again, so that we're addressing all of the muscle fibers. Other side, push the hips. Woo, this one's a little tighter. You might find one leg a little tighter as well. Before you leave this video, it would be awesome if you click like so it can be found on the YouTube algorithm. And also please drop a comment. I love reading from you guys. And finally, if you do the workouts on YouTube on a regular basis, we would love to see your support over on Patreon. It is only due to that community that we can keep this channel going. No Patreon community means there will be no YouTube channel. And if you would prefer these workouts ads free in addition to a host of other instructors as well as nutrition plans, come and grab your 14 day trial at Over 50 Fitness. All the info is in the link below. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in our next workout together. Bye.